Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Meteora's Linking Park's Underground Rarities 2.0. Today we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of Meteora. So basically, I've reviewed the record already and this is my second video where I will review the B-sides, songs that didn't make the cut for the record, mostly instrumental ones. This is a CD that you will find on the special 20th anniversary Meteora edition that will come out next month, but this CD has songs that were already featured on Linkin Park's Underground series, so you can easily find them online and listen to them. The next CD, called Lost Demos, contains unreleased material, 14 songs. I won't review it today, because it's still not out. The moment the CD is released, I will listen to it and review it for you guys. So probably next month. If you want to know my story about Linking Park, how I found out about the band and how much they mean to me, watch that first Meteora review. There are lots of informations there. So yeah, let's just focus on these demos. The production is tight, it's clean but heavy. Two demos don't have that good of a production, but overall yeah, it's nice. Message is diverse, there are only like 4 or 5 songs here with lyrics and as usual they are mostly about personal struggles and relationship issues. Structure of the tracks is basic, standard, intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, chorus again. Music is nu metal. The compilation starts with the track A6, it has two versions, the short one, which was used in some commercials back in like 2003 before Meteora was released, and the long version. This is the short version, and I must say that I love it. We don't have any vocals here, but the drumming is just legendary, so are the guitar riffs. This is a heavy song. It truly feels like Linkin Park is a metal band in this one. I just love this thing. 10 out of 10, pretty bird. It's an instrumental version of Somewhere I Belong and listening to this one truly makes you appreciate Chester's vocals. It's just great, it's nothing special, but then you add Chester's lyrics and vocals on top of it and it becomes something better, something more. So yeah, this is just 8 out of 10. Next track is Sold My Soul to Your Mama. <laughs> this one was done by Mr. Han in 2004 apparently. Lots of scratches, lots of samples. This one has vocals, but I don't know if all of them are sampled or some of them were done just for this song. It's hard to tell. It's a great track, I enjoy it. It's not as good as Cure for the Itch or Session, but it's great. 8 out of 10. Standing in the Middle features Scott Mastercard and Motion Man. Now I feel that this is one of the songs that was done back in the reanimation cycle, so 2001-2002 era. I like the beat, the instrumental work, great stuff. The flow of the rappers is amazing. I love Mike's verse the most. I guess the reason this didn't make the cut for the record is that it doesn't fit there. And it didn't fit the reanimation either because reanimation had better remixes and this is an original song. So yeah, it's still great, I recommend listening to it, if you like rap music. 8 out of 10, we have an instrumental demo called Program, and this is just a good song. It's nothing special, I understand why it wasn't extended to be written with some vocals and shit, but it's still fun to listen to. 7 out of 10, then we have the faint demo version, and I must say that I am glad that they have rewritten the lyrics and the vocal lines because it's not as good as the final version. 7 out of 10. Figure or 9, demo 2002. Now this is an interesting thing because there are no vocals in the verses because they haven't written them yet, but there is a chorus and bridge and they are finished and they are completely different from the final version. And I must say that I enjoy this stuff a lot more than the final version and it's hilarious because the final version is great i love the vocals there the melodies everything when it comes to the vocals but here it's even better chester screaming is so heavy 
and so emotional on this demo. You have to check this stuff out if you haven't heard it. 10 out of 10. Drawing is an instrumental version of breaking the habit and what can I say? I love it. It's not as good as the final version because there are no vocals but yeah, still fun to listen to. 9 out of 10. Next stuff is Camulus or however you pronounce it. Again, I understand why this wasn't finished. It's fine, but nothing special, you know. 7 out of 10. A6, original long version. Apparently, the band thinks this isn't very good, and that's why they made the short version later. I think this is a banger. I made a guitar cover of this song back in like 2017. It was my second year of playing guitar, and I was so happy that I could play such banging track. It's fun, my favorite part is the bridge because of that guitar riff. Well, I just love those harmonics, you know, well, great stuff, 10 out of 10. Soundtrack, now this is actually an amazing instrumental piece and I wish it was basically finished with vocals and stuff because it's so fun and atmospheric to listen to. 8 out of 10. Broken Foot is another banger. I don't know why it wasn't on the record with some vocals put on. It's another song that I made a guitar cover and it's so fun to listen to and to play on any instrument. I highly recommend checking this one out. 10 out of 10. Aminus. Now this is another song that isn't that special to me. It's fun. I get it. It's fun. It's nothing bad or nothing great, it's just good. 7 out of 10. Unfortunate. Now this song is almost a masterpiece and I wish it was finished because it truly sounds like a sequel to Cure for the Itch. It could have been on the record instead of Session if they worked on it more. 9 out of 10. Pepper is just Pepper. Another just good demo. Nothing special. 7 out of 10. Breaking the Habit original mic 2002 demo. Now this is interesting because as you know Breaking the Habit was written by Mike, the lyrics and the music. This is basically a demo that even I did back in the past when I was trying to get a singer for my band. You basically sing the lyrics to show the vocalist how it's supposed to sound like when it comes to the melodies, but you're not a talented vocalist so it doesn't sound good. I don't know why this is being released, you know, like officially, because Mike is not singing well here. His singing here sounds like my singing, and my singing is fucking shit. Mike has come a long way since then, nowadays he's a very talented singer, he can sing, I like his singing nowadays, but back in 2002 he fucking sucked man, yeah, like me, yeah, 5 out of 10. Halo is another highlight when it comes to the instrumental demos, great guitar riffs, cool atmosphere, what's not to love? 8 out of 10. Rhinoceros is another song that I enjoy the guitar riffs, I think it's great. 8 out of 10. And the final demo attached. Now this thing is very underrated, I don't know why it wasn't finished because the vibe, the atmosphere, just how it all flows so well. Great stuff. 9 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is various and the flow is digestible, replayability, yeah, it's a good compilation. I enjoy half of the songs here very much. I wish some of the tracks like A6, Broken Foot, Unfortunate, Attached would be finished and I would love to hear more extended figure 9 demo, like maybe they could add some verses into it. You could easily have two final versions of this song. This actually reminds me of that song This Time's For Real by the band Il Nino because they had a demo version called Every Day of that song. If you know Il Nino or maybe you just like new metal, check it out and listen to that Every Day demo version because it has better lyrics and better vocal melodies. And it reminds me of Figure 9 because if this was finished, if this had verses, then I would easily like it more than the final version of Meteora. It's so interesting. So yeah, check this stuff out. If you're a big fan of Linkin Park, I am. I love this thing. I think this is better than One More Light, Living Things or that Sans album from 2010. 
yeah, it's clearly better. It's actually good music and it's fun to listen to. So yeah, that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, links in the description. And I will see you in my other videos and probably my third Meteora review where we're going to review Lost Demos. Bye!